Good morning from another episode of The Way We Saw It. We have left San Jose this morning and we are in Atenas. It's about an hour's drive yeah. east, northeast from San Jose. And we are here based a few days because from here we can make easier excursions to the neighboring wildlife and volcano areas. So we have picked up our rental car this morning, little four-wheel car drive because it's necessary, supposed to be necessary Costa Rica because the roads are getting more worse and worse the further you get away from San Jose. And this is actually our little hut here, or little, yeah, it's a little hut. It's a one-room house with a spectacular view over the villa. The and, valley. Uh, the, the valley, not the villa. And San Jose is actually a really cool city. Every travel book and blog you read says leave it as quick as possible because it's ugly. Of course, if you have only two weeks time in uh, Costa Rica, maybe then you spend only one, maximum two days there. But if you have more time while traveling, we definitely recommend to stay longer in San Jose because it has beautiful museums like the Jade Museum, the Gold Museum, the National Museum that already will take you one and a half day. And there are so many beautiful restaurants and coffee houses where you can drink all kinds of coffees and yeah, yeah Costa that, Rican coffee. Costa Rican the coffee, best. of course. In one coffee place, they had 23 different varieties from eight different areas of Costa Rica. So that will take you already <laughs> quite some time. Now we are heading to supposed to be the best zoo of Costa Rica to explore already some wildlife. Let's go. Yeah. The, the, uh, the idea of going in a zoo in Costa Rica is a little bit weird because Costa Rica itself is a huge zoo, but this is supposed to be a very good introduction to the wildlife here. And in the national parks, actually, you're lucky or unlucky, you get to see the animals or you don't. So at least at the zoo, we should get to see them. And did you see behind Marty our bananas growing? That's our <laughs> breakfast, daily <laughs> breakfast. Let's go. After a 30 minute ride, we are at the Zoo Ave, that this place is called. And the exhibition here, or the sh showcase here, starts with amazing... Uh, what are these called? Parrots! Parrots! They are gigantic. They are at least 60 centimeters, up to one meter big. And they talk to us very loudly. That is a very weird animal. And here you can see a tukan. This is probably the only moment we see a tukan because they cannot be really seen in the wild. And this crocodile here has really bad breath. a giant bamboo it can grow up to six centimeters a day and the stems go up to 30 meters so here uh, in this cage there are ocelots which is like a leopard species and this zoo here is actually also breeding a lot of animals to release them into the natural habit and in, in front of each cage, you have a sign uh, which says uh, we have already released five ocelots to the nature again. And it's really beautiful made. Of course, the zoo is a zoo and the animals are living in cages. But it's really wild and there's a lot of green and the animals have a lot of space in each cage. Yeah, and they're just enjoying the sun over there in their cage. our tour through the zoo Ave and actually this we couldn't film 
very much because there's so much vegetation and often also the grid from the cages in front of the camera had focus problems. But it's definitely worth to visit. It has a lot of uh, different, well, mainly birds and monkeys. 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 Nice and monkeys. This is actually more like a breeding station because from some Swiss years they have already released over 500 back into the nature. So that's quite a cool idea. The entrance fee for locals is 5,300 colonists and for foreigners like us it's 11,300. So that's uh, like 7 or 16 euros if you convert it per person. Personally I think double the price for a foreigner. Hmm, I don't know. But I let you judge about this. And now we're heading to Athenas, which is very he near here. Uh, Athenas is suppo has supposedly the best climate of the world, says the National Geographic. And also our Costa Rican friends told us that. So we're gonna check that out and breathe the fabulous air. It's supposed to have also nice cafes and restaurants. Let's try to find a coffee place. This is the Cathedral de la Mercedes and it was actually built in Belgium 1897, completely built from metal, taken apart, shipped to Costa Rica, built together again, voila. So we found this little coffee place and actually in Latin America the thing is the pie de limon. <laughs> and even at the beach at Cipolite they say pie de limon. And here, what else Pai than limon. Pai de Limon? And this one is pretty good. It's really good. The coffee is not that good. Mm. After the coffee, we went back home and actually added another video, or home, let's say, to this room, which we are currently trying to upload here. Mart is just behind me, but the internet is quite weak. And we are going to bed now and tomorrow we will do a very super cool adventure. We will go to one of the national parks and I think we're just going to attach the day tomorrow to this vlog. See you tomorrow. Now we are on our way to the national park, Juan Castro Blanco. And this national park actually is a new national park where the government is currently buying all the land together. And because it's a new national park, there's not much infrastructure yet. And the Boas National Park, which is the most famous, one of the most famous ones from Costa Rica, is currently closed due to volcanic activity. And uh, they think it might be closed until 2019. And in the national park where we are going now, there are also three volcanoes, but they're extinct. And, but they are supposed to be beautiful vegetation and landscape so let's see it's supposed to be very difficult to find I said that yesterday already but I have a super good guy next to me who will, <laughs> who will bring me there Look at these little calves, how cute they are. This is our four wheel drive and it's gone a little bit dirty on this ride. <laughs> and we're getting ready for a little hike and there's even some dirt here. Somebody has Basura. found neither, nothing better to do than throw his can here. Not nice. So we have arrived now to the park. Marty was a super guide. This is a huge visitor center in the entrance. But there is nobody, so uh, we also don't have to pay an entrance fee, probably. Luckily, there's a map here, so we are going to take this violet trail, which is the universal trail. And then let's see what's going to happen. It starts over here. Plans are just 
gigantic. Looks like Jurassic Park has its leaves. Great. So while we are hiking here through this jungle, actually we are the only visitors here. There's nobody up, nobody else. We found these plan with our with these fruits maybe somebody of you knows what this fruit is if it's if you can eat it or what the name of the plant is please put it in the comment section it looks really really beautiful and the plant has also beautiful flowers pieces of land are still bought here from the government so there's a piece of farmland in between with a horse <laughs> wants to eat you which is very beautiful. very beautiful so we just finished the first hike but actually there is a lake somewhere in this natural park and that's where we wanted to go but we cannot find the path so we had a little snack now at the visitor center where still nobody is and now we are going to try find the correct path to the lake. Here you can see why it's called the cloud forest. It's a bit windy but we are right in the clouds and they come up and they go down and they leave some sunshine in the middle and then it's again raining so we are in the middle of the clouds. This is the Pozzo Verde Lake. And actually it's a little bit green in the back. Green bluish I would say. Green bluish. Yeah. <laughs> really beautiful. Also the clouds on the top hitting on the on the hill or mountain. This is 1850 meters high. Our car is actually parked over there, just there is a little piece of green land and this is the entrance to the park and there's a central investigation where there's where they or like a visitor center. But if you want to do the hike to the Pozzo Verde, you have to go here to the left and that's actually before you come to the Pozzo Verde, 500 meters, you have to turn right. There's a sign 3.5 kilometers to Las Minas, we didn't do that track because we did already the other tracks behind the visitor center. Now we are done with the Juan Castro Blanco National Park and we are heading back to Atenas. It's about a two hours ride and on the way we're gonna try to find some food. The Juan Castro Blanco National Park is really worth visiting. It's very wild, not very organized yet. The visitor center as you saw was closed and uh, it's more about the hiking and the nature. We didn't actually see any wildlife, only a horse and cows, but we did hear, hear the birds. So it's definitely worth a visit. It probably will, will uh, develop a lot in the future. So this was the way we saw it in uh, Atenas in Costa Rica. Uh, if you want to subscribe, you can do it here and Google will suggest another video from us here. Thank you for watching. Safe travel always. Goodbye.